Hmm, looks like the cooling fan on the gearbox is the culprit of this one's breakdown. I can do a temporary job on it for now, but once it's one, we'll have to be scheduled in for maintenance of an inch core soon. Alright, bring the driver's head while it's fixed. I'm going for a piss. See you in a bit there, 077. <laughs> Not a bad lad, that engine. First time I had a proper chat with an 071. <laughs> he gave a better first impression to those A classes did back in the mid 50s. They were a bit snooty at first, but. Oh, oh, sorry, lad. I hope I didn't upset you with my ramblings about the A. Oh, no, no, no. Not at all. It's just something else, hasn't it? Do you want to talk about it? Uh, I wouldn't want to bore you with something so trivial. <laughs> Try me. Well, it's just I've been having a few issues lately. I've had quite a few breakdowns the last while, and I guess, well, I'm afraid of that. Afraid of what? Scrap? <laughs> it's not really laughing matter, mate. You should know that being a steam engine. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I'm laughing because you think you're already on the scrap road. I understand your viewpoint, my dear engine. But from my experience over the past 117 years, I've seen and heard many engines plagued with issues who have been in your buffers before. The most notable one I can think of is still in full revenue service over on the island of... Uh, oh, what was the place called again? Sutton? No, Sudder? No, Sodor. Yes, yes, Sodor, that place. The island of Sodor? That place isn't real. It's from those railway series books and that show on the telly. Oh, it's real, all right. A haven for steam and diesel engine alike. Why, I even met oh, the railway's goodness. controller before. A lovely man, Sir Stephen Totten Hat. Anyway, 161. Once you keep your chin up, have a bit of faith in yourself and do your best to go far. You sure about that? As sure as my paintwork is green. Um, your paintwork is grey. Huh? Jesus, the state of me! I told the society I need to be clean. <laughs> hmm. Faith in myself and I'll go far. Wait, you're right. Since I arrived in 1962, I've always given it my all. I guess with the few issues I've had and the current situation of some of us 141s and even 121s being withdrawn, I just got a bit worried. But you're right. As long as I stay focused and give it my all, I will continue to be an asset to the railway. Now you're getting it, lad. See what happens when you listen to your elders? We always have the best advice. <laughs> Duly noted. Thanks for that 186. You've really cheered me up. No problem at all, 161, but please, call me Podrick. I much prefer it over my number. Do you have a name? I do. My name is John. Nice to meet you, Podrick. Well, nice to meet you, John. So I take it you're here for the Inchicore Open Day next month? I am indeed. I've been busy up the north of Ireland the last few years, and my last boiler ticket expired in 1980. Since I haven't been running that long, I came back down south on a lorry. It broke down before reaching in a score, so they brought me here in the meantime. Ah, I see. Are you the only steam engine that will be on display? No, no, there's a few of us that will be there. 461, Sleeve Gillen, Merlin, and I think a tank engine will be on display. Very good. No doubt you'll all be the centre of attention. The enthusiasts love you lot. Yes, bring it! See, I told you not to worry. <laughs> I guess you were right after all. Oh, and here's my driver. Looks like I'm needed for something. Well, slam has it. If I don't see you before the open day, enjoy yourself. On the board, John. Hmm. Island is so Sounds like a nice place to live. fix is only temporary! Why are they sending that engine to work? It can't handle pulling a train! Ah, uh, it's only doing pilot work. The regulator says it breaks down again, but so take it out of service. I'd say that'll be the end of it after that. The walk 161 needs is probably too expensive for the company to carry out. 